Welcome back to Flowing Mobility Tai Chi and this your first lesson in the lessons toward learning the 24 Yang style Tai Chi form set. We need to build some fundamentals and the more time you spend on these the better your Tai Chi will be and the more enjoyable your Tai Chi is. Um, avoid the urge to rush through and learn all of the movements and try to at, uh, attain the 24 uh, before you're ready. N enjoy the process. It might take you three months, it might take you six months, it might take you a year, two years. Um, one or two forms done well is certainly better than 24 done poorly or without proper principles. So just a few principles to get us started. First, I'd like you to stand shoulder width apart. Now, there's no need for a very wide stance, particularly when you're learning and in the Yang style. So shoulder width apart, and the lateral border or the outside border of your feet are parallel to one, other, one, one another. Now, if that is uncomfortable for your knees, then you can toe out just a bit. But you might then, I'm going to give you a profile view here. You're going to soften your knees and sit down on a windowsill, an imaginary windowsill behind you. Now a windowsill has a very narrow lip, so you're not fully committed to trying to sit down on a surface, but rather you're just resting your bottom on that windowsill. And you notice that when I do that, it elongates my spine and my posture is upright and my pelvis moves back like so. And when I do that, you might notice also that my knees are not going over my toes, as opposed to squatting. Now, if I squat, it's a plumb line straight down. My knees are over my toes. My back is curved. It's just not a good posture and it's hard on our body, especially our lower legs. So it's very important that you understand and practice that the Tai Chi stance is taking your pelvis back or rather sitting on that windowsill. Now you also might notice that my alignment is very good. So I have a really unique and interesting way of teaching this. Pretend that I have sewn buttons on you. These are pretty good sized buttons, about two inches. So you have a button here on the top of your hip bone. So locate that top of your hip bone. And you have a button underneath your collarbone where it sort of curves. There's a little notch right here. And pretend that I have sewn a button here and here. And between those two buttons, I've sewn a silk thread, a delicate silk thread. And you also have buttons on the other side as well, and another silk thread. Now those silk threads have to remain vertical at all times. In other words, your buttons have to stay stacked on top of each other and aligned in a vertical arrangement. So that means that when I step, that I step and everything remains vertical, no matter whether I'm stepping sideways or forward. I liken it to walking like a crab. So I'm in my Tai Chi stance, but I'm walking around and moving, and my threads are remaining vertical. You also have buttons on the side. I've sewn a button here on the hip and here on your shoulder. And I've sewn a delicate thread, just imagine that thread going through your arm and up to this button. Those buttons have to stay vertical as well. So these are some very simple principles that relate to the Tai Chi stance and also when we begin to move. In the next lesson, I'm going to give you a simple fun movement and we will practice aligning our buttons and maintaining our um, good posture and our Tai Chi stance. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next lesson.